This is Cam, a security camera with a personality. I built him to be mounted on my shoulder to complete my data farmer uh, Halloween costume. As with all projects, it started with a sketch. I struggled to find a good reference photo of these types of security cameras from the front, but I eventually landed on something that looked right. And then I switched over to Adobe Illustrator to like uh, nail down the exact dimensions of the assembly and then switched over to my favorite 3D modeling software, Creo Parametric. And there I 3D modeled all of the parts to be 3D printed. Okay, so <clears throat> Halloween isn't for a little over a week now, but a week from today, I'm going to two parties in one day, which means I gotta get this little guy ready in time. Guys, quick update, just so there's no misunderstanding. My printer no longer goes by the name of 01000148 and now goes by the name of 192168000022. Content of this channel is gonna stay the same. We just have a different name. After 3D printing all of the parts, I sanded them down to remove the layer lines and try to make them look more like metal. And then I primed them with either black or uh, white, depending on where they are in the assembly. All right, so for the actuation of these movements, I'm gonna use this servo motor. It's a micro servo motor and they're really cheap off Amazon. Problem, every single STEM kid and their mother knows what these things are so I need to disguise it because I'm not like you guys. So these little white things come with the servo motors to help you attach them to your project. And um, my beautiful design for Cam uh, let me snap these into place and glue them and it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna use these addressable LEDs for the eyes and I'm only gonna use two of them. But what that lets me do is I get to program each one individually RGB. The LEDs run on five volts, uh, but they end up being really bright for this project, so they did the trick. The whole thing runs on an Arduino Nano connected to a screw terminal shield, which lets me uh, connect the wires a bit more uh, reliably. Uh, and the main challenge with this whole project was fitting all the electronics and wires into this little box while uh, making it easy to take apart for repairs. Guys, check it out. We got it attached to the strap. It's pretty sturdy on there. I thought I was gonna have to do more support, but it's looking pretty good. Some negative cancel tilt I'm seeing here, but that's okay.
He's doing his thing. He keeps looking the other way. As you'd expect, this is not comfortable. It's kind of digging into my shoulder. But beauty is painful. I'm powering him with a uh, little three cell 800 milliamp hour battery. Um, and I was a little worried that that wouldn't be enough to power him for a whole night of partying. But uh, after a little test, I could see that he was only drawing around 150 milliamps at any given time, uh, which means that he could stay on for around like five hours without needing a new battery. To make him look weathered and old, I started with a base coat of uh, yellow acrylic paints, then went over with a kind of darker brown uh, color, just kind of wiping off the paint to kind of smear it. At this point, it's kind of started to look like wood. So then I went over with a kind of darker brown over the crevices, kind of trying to make it look dirty. For the face screen thing, I laser cut it out of tinted acrylic. I got it out of the free scraps bin at my school and I only had one chance to get it right. And I did. Um, I then scuffed it up with some sandpaper and then epoxied it to the, the front face thing. Here's the code for uh, his whole deal. It's uh, just basically a bunch of like random events where he just chooses where to look. Here's the final assembly. Pretty satisfied with how it looks. People kept asking me, uh, did you just hollow out like an old security camera? And then I felt pretty cool saying, um, um, actually I 3D printed it. Everything went pretty smoothly uh, at the Halloween parties. Um, and I'll just let the footage speak for itself. Roll it. <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't fully know if my costume makes any sense, to be honest, but any chance to bring a robot to life is one I'm gonna take. Leave a comment if you have any ideas on how to improve the design, and here's my guarantee to you, I 100% will not follow your advice. That's it for the video. Uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna be releasing some updates about my drumming robot. I'm going to break my Raspberry Pi, I swear! I went to Open Sauce and presented my robot there. I need to make a video about that. And I do intend to make more videos about my creative endeavors, so please, subscribe. I beg of you. Baby.